Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of ETBU Extra. Hello, I'm Mike McGood, voice of the East Texas Baptist University Tigers, and we're live from CC from noon to 1 p.m. today. If you're in Marshall, Harrison County, come on by eat lunch with us today. The buffet and drink, just $5. And with the conclusion of the spring semester here at ETBU with spring commencement this Saturday, this is our last show of the year of ETBU Extra. and got a lot to talk about. Tiger baseball, Tiger softball, Tiger track and field, and Tiger tennis up today on today's show. Right off the bat, got some breaking news for you from the Hilltop. Lacey Lindsay, the first baseman for East Texas Baptist University, was named today by the National Fast Pitch Coach Association as the National Hitter of the Week for her performance last week, especially in that series against Sol Ross State University. She had three home runs and one single game at three consecutive at-bats. So congratulations to Lacey Lindsay being named the NFCA National Hitter of the Week. Also, she was named Hitter of the Week in the American Southwest Conference, and ETB Lady Tigers softball pitcher Shelby Parker was named Pitcher of the Week in the conference. Of course, the Lady Tigers are getting ready to play in the American Southwest Conference Softball Championship Tournament beginning this Thursday, hosted by UT Tyler. Right off the bat, we're going to talk ETBU Tiger Baseball with head coach Jared Hood. And, and coach, you've got a player this week honored by the American Southwest Conference. Dinas Dodd was named as ASC Hitter of the Week. Talk about her performance, his, his, not her performance, <laughs> Coach Hood. Talk about his performance uh, last week for your team. Yeah, you know, Dinas had a good week for us. He, um, you know, of course, our, our week actually expanded through two uh, conference series from the Mary Hard and Baylor conference, uh, series and the, uh, the Ozark series. But I think he hit something like 800 uh, at Ozarks. And, uh, you know, combined with the, the series before that, I think he was right around 550, 560, something like that uh, within the six games. So um, huge accomplishment for him. Uh, he, he carried us uh, through some big wins and some big games and, uh, and did a good job for us. He hit 571 for the week, seven RBIs, nine runs scored, and two home runs. Had an excellent week hitting, and that's why he's being honored by the American Southwest Conference. Dennis Dialed as the national, not the national, the hitter of the week. Well, Coach, you went to up last weekend to play Ozarks in a three-game series. You needed to get some Ws to keep mm -hmm. yourself in that race to make the conference tournament. Uh, you went two of three against Ozarks, but uh, kind of talk about the series. You lost game one, eight to seven. Yeah, we went up there Friday. Um, you know, we knew we had some rain in the forecast, uh, thought we could get the game in. Uh, and it was kind of a weird day, kind of have, had a weird feel to it. Uh, you know, they, they wanted to stay in class a little bit longer. And, and uh, so we hit BP first. Uh, it was real rainy and wind was blowing. And it just didn't have a real good feel to it. And, and we came out flat. And I had a feeling we were going to. And, and uh, sure enough, we did. We came out flat. And then they put it on us pretty good there for six innings. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, to our team's credit, we came out Saturday and we had a, a total change of, uh, change of momentum, a change of intensity, and a and sense of urgency. Uh, we're able to come back, and I think we had a grand slam uh, in the top of the seventh that resumed that first game on Saturday. Had a grand slam to start us off. We ended up uh, getting within one uh, in that game, and just couldn't quite, uh, quite, couldn't quite close the distance. But uh, came out the next two games uh, and just hit, absolutely just hit the baseball. Uh, it was one of the only weekends our pitching staff didn't. Um, do what they had been doing and keeping us in games and, and, and they were hitting us a little bit and um, and our hitters rose to the occasion. We, we were able to put a bunch of runs on and um, and hold them at bay and and, uh, and and get some wins. So it was it was a good weekend. So you lost game one, but you win game two and then you explode in game three for 20 runs as you beat Ozarks 20 to seven. Kirby Moore was your winning pitcher, a senior. He's five and two in the year. Zach Compton, four of six in the ball game. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. What? When you get in a game like that with a big lead, did everybody start having fun? Yeah, well, it was a fun weekend regardless. Um, you know, I, we've been preaching the past couple of weeks about, uh, you know, our, our team unity and, and, and this being a, a complete team effort from the guys on the field uh, to the guys on the bench. And, uh, you know, kudos to our guys on the bench. They've, they've kept our guys in, that are actually playing. They, they get, the bench guys have actually kept the guys that are playing in the game uh, just by their intensity and the way they've approached uh, their role and their jobs and when they get opportunities. Uh, Josh Warburton's one, for example, he, uh, he got an opportunity and, uh, to come in late in game one and, uh, you know, and stayed in the lineup throughout the rest of the series. And he's been a guy who uh, has, you know, has had some trouble, uh, you know, throughout the season but uh, was able to figure it out and, and, and do very well for us uh, throughout the rest of the series. And, um, you know, so kudos for those guys hanging in there. It's not always a tough uh, not always an easy job to be a, a role player or a bench player, but uh, 
you know, our guys are, are starting to, to figure it out a little bit. In that 20-7 to seven win over Ozarks, uh, Dowd had a home run. Josh Warrington, as you talked about, had two home runs. Tyler Bates gets a home run. Uh, just a, a good performance by the Tigers in that game as they win the series over Ozarks 2-3. to three. Visiting with Jared Hood, head baseball coach here at ETBU. Now let's move to what's ahead for your team. Of course, the, the top eight teams at the end of regular season play make the American Southwest Conference Championship Tournament being hosted by Concordia, Texas this year. And, and you're currently in sixth place. And I, I ran into you yesterday on the hill and kind of talked to you. What do your team have to do to assure a spot in this year's ASC Tournament? Uh, well, we just got to keep taking care of business. Um, you know, I, I kind of know what's going on. It's, 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 there's a lot of different scenarios because everybody's played a different amount of games. Uh, due to the amount of rain that we've had and rain out games. Um, so with our conference going purely on win percentage, um, you know, and all these, these three teams that are in the hunt, none of them have the same amount of games played. So uh, there's a lot of different scenarios that could go on. Um, I know what has to happen, um, you know, but, but when it's all said and done, we've got to win game one, then we've got to win game two, and we need to compete and, and win game three. So one game at a time is the way we're going to approach this. And, uh, you know, and if, if we're able to play next week, we're able to play. If not, we'll, we'll, we'll pack it up and, uh, and, and get started on next year. Looking at the conference standings, as Coach Hood mentioned about, there's so many different scenarios in those bottom five, six, seven, and eight spot. For instance, EPU 9 and 15 at the sixth spot currently. At seventh is Harden Simmons, they're 8 and 15. Louisiana College is 8 and 19. Howard Payne, the number nine spot, 7 and 19. As you said, there's all kinds of scenarios that could play out over the weekend. Yeah. But as you said, your team just needs to go out and win the right. series you got coming up this weekend as you close out the regular season against Louisiana College. So let's talk about the series against Louisiana College. A single game on Friday night at Woodsfield, 7 p.m. Saturday is a doubleheader at 1 and 4. And I looked at the forecast. Beautiful weather today. Rain is nowhere in the forecast. So There's going to be some great baseball play this weekend at Woodsfield. Talk about the series coming up against Louisiana College. Uh, Louisiana College has been one of those teams um, since I've been back in the ASC that uh, every year that I've been here, it's, uh, you know, it's a coin toss. Uh, every year, statistically, we've, we've matched up evenly. Um, you know, if you look at it, we're both hitting about the same. We're both pitching it about the same. We're playing about the same defense. And, um, and it's going to be one of those deals that, you know, whoever shows up and whoever plays good fundamental baseball is going to win the, is going to win the ball game. So, um, you know, it's a big series for our guys, and, uh, and we're going to have to play well. And, uh, um, you know, so we'll see what happens. Tigers are 18 and 18 on the year, 9 and 15 in conference play, like I asked. And, of course, with the, with the final home series coming up on the Tigers' regular season schedule, uh, you're going to honor some seniors. Talk about your seniors on this year's ball club. You know, these seniors this year, it, it's, um, you know, they're, they're special. They're a special group. Um, you know, if you, if you look at them on the roster or, or stats-wise or something, um, you know, only a couple of them make an impact as far as playing time and, and things on the field. But, but what's special about this senior class is that, um, you know, all of these seniors have, have been here at ETBU for four years. Um, you know, and that's, that's really rare to find. Uh, you know, I think we've got six of them. And that's really that's rare to find uh, that amount of seniors uh, in one program. Um, most of the time, if there's that many in one program, they all play. You know, but, uh, but these guys and the fact that they've played for three head coaches since they've been here, uh, that's, that's tough to do. I, I, I played for three coaches in my college career. Uh, they were all at different schools, though, um, you know, and, and they've had three, three head coaches at the same school. So uh, for those guys to stay here, to stay in this program, uh, you know, to stay at ETBU, you know, and, and they've got it in their mind. I mean, they're going to get a degree, and they're going to graduate from East Texas Baptist, and I think that says tremendous, you know, about their character and, and, and the kind of kids that they are. Six seniors that you will honor this Saturday, uh, Maddie Sullivan, Kirby Moore, Ben Beltran, Zach Timke, Matt Le Le Leffler, and Trevor Bass. As mm -hmm. you said, uh, you, should, you should commend these guys for sticking out with Tiger baseball. And that's kind of like, uh, well, the reputation of Tiger baseball. You want to be a part of it, even though there might have been a coaching change. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, like I said, that, you know, those kids, they, they're here because they believe in what we're doing. Um, they believe in the school and then they bought into the community of Marshall as well. And, 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 and all those aspects are very important for us to uh, uh, to see, and they're, they're vital for the, the improvement of our program and the continuous climb of our program. You'll recognize the seniors in game one of the, of the doubleheader on Saturday against Louisiana College. And finally, 
we'll probably get Kids Day in the park finally in. It's been rescheduled so many times because of, of rain and snow and sleet and hurricanes. No hurricanes or anything like that, but it seems like it. Talk about Kids Day at the park this weekend on Saturday. Yeah, Kids Day, it, it's, it's a way for us to uh, uh, to get out to the community and to get to the, the people of the community out to, to the ballpark and, uh, you know, to get them on campus uh, of ETBU because, um, you know, I was one of those people when I lived in Marshall, I, you know, I was very rarely on the campus of ETBU. And, and I think anything that we can do to get kids on campus, to get families involved on campus activities, um, the more that maybe we can uh, retain some of these kids that, uh, here in our hometown and home, home area. So um, Kids Day this year, uh, unfortunately, Marbury Baptist uh, with, the, with the schedule changes, we're not going to be able to have jump houses and, and the cotton candy machines and all that good stuff. But um, we'll still have access to our team. Uh, after the games, uh, still be able to come out and run the bases and everything like that and, and still have an enjoyable um, afternoon uh, at the ball field and, and get to watch some baseball. Visiting with Jared Hood, head baseball coach here at East Texas Baptist University today on Eats. We actually are live from CC's, our last show of the year, and we've had a great time visiting with Tigers athletics all season long. And, Coach, uh, as we approach the American Southwest Conference Championship Tournament, we hope the Tigers will be there. Got to take care of business this weekend as you battle for one of those eight spots. You know, normally they, they, they have the tournament at the number one seed, but I noticed this year Concordia, Texas, is hosting no matter what. What was the decision concerning that? Uh, well, kind of our, uh, our thought process was – uh, the fact that number one we're having an eight team tournament um, and we're starting later in the week and, and hoping to get done by uh, uh, by Sunday which is our rain day the good thing about Concordia is that they do have a turf field uh, and if we've learned anything by this year it's the fact that uh, you know there's going to be a chance for rain maybe so um, you know if that does happen and, and we get some rain some thunderstorms that that uh, the chances of us being able to play and, and there's not so much wear and tear on the field and everything, so it, uh, it you know it works out on all ends. Good decision made by the conference to do that because you know you, when it starts raining, you got to start looking for a place to play. And sometimes I know teams in high school have traveled hundreds of miles to find a dry field to yeah. get a, a bi district or a regional playoff game in. Well, Coach Hood, any final words before we let you go to enjoy lunch here at CC's today? No, uh, guys, come out and, uh, and, and support us this weekend as our last home series. Uh, support these seniors uh, and the job that they've done for this program and, and, and to getting this thing started off on the right foot and uh, into rebuilding this program. They've done a tremendous job setting the example for the younger guys, uh, you know, and, and celebrate the fact that they're going to graduate from East Texas Baptist. And, you know, because that's what we were trying to do. We were trying to, to produce young men into society with degrees and, uh, you know, so – Come out and support these guys. Coach Hood, best of the Tigers as you face Louisiana College this weekend. Thanks. ETBU playing Louisiana College, final regular season home series of the year. Single game Friday night at 7, double header on Saturday, senior day, as well as kids' day in the park. Please make plans if you can to go out the Woodsfield. Tigers need some victories to get themselves into the American Southwest Conference Baseball Championship Tournament. We're at CC's Live today for each of the extra, and we've been joined by a lot of children today from Marshall ISD. It's kind of like field trip day today. I know some students from Davy Crockett are here today, and we're glad to have them part of the activities here today at ETV Extra. Don't go away. Coming up next, we'll talk, talk more Tiger athletics. I think we're going to talk with Coach Natalie Prather, ETV track and field coach next, and talk about the performance the Tigers had last week at the ASE track and field championship meet in Abilene that was held last weekend. Stay tuned. More ETV Extra live from CeCe's and Marshall coming up.